Hi everyone. You have tuned into Kotick Securities Weekly Fundamental Podcast. I am your host Vini Mehta. Indian stock markets rallied during the last week owing to softening crude prices, favorable RBI policy hopes and return of foreign investors as buyers of Indian equities. Markets also regained as tensions between Russia and Ukraine began to de-escalate a bit. However, a prolonged rise in inflation could be lurking around the corner as multiple sanctions placed on Russia have sparked an unbridled rally in commodity prices. So now if we look at the numbers, the Sensex was at 57,969 on Thursday, gaining nearly 4.5%, while the Nifty was at 17,319, gaining 4.4%. during the last week mid cap and small cap index underperformed and if we look at sectoral indices they all ended in green during the week bsc auto and realty were the top gainers while bsc power and metal were the lowest gainers coming to the global markets again uh, the fed approved on wednesday a benchmark interest rate increase of a quarter of a percentage point its first hike since 2018 the policy making committee also penciled in six more hikes in 2022 as well as factored in a reduction in its 9 trillion dollars balance sheet in other international news mainland china reported for wednesday a second straight day of declines in new confirmed covid cases The Omicron wave in China is more similar to the power shortage episode from late last year. The supply chain shocks are relatively light so far, but the primary economic impact is on consumer spending and the services industry. Coming to the foreign investor flows, FII flows continues to remain negative in the month of March till date. They were net sellers to the tune of Rs. 44,417 crores and moving to safe haven. Given multiple headwinds like uh, inflation, monetary tightening, elevated crude oil prices, geopolitical issues, etc., we believe FII flows in India will remain volatile in the short term. On the other hand, India is still the fastest growing economy due to domestic demand resilience and india will report much faster earnings growth than most other markets now coming to the stocks for this week our pick of the week is minda industries with ad rating and fair value of rupees 1160 we expect this auto ancillaries company minda industries uh to continue to outperform the industry growth due to uh, three reasons one is increase in pre immunization and import substitution second is strong order wins in electric vehicle two wheeler segment and third is market share gain in lightning seating and alloy wheels the company has wide range of products for two wheelers three wheelers uh, electric vehicle products Minda Industries has increased stake in its uh, four of its partnerships uh, uh, firms as a part of its ongoing consolidation exercise to achieve uh, you know greater operational flexibility and uh, economies of scale so we expect minda industries revenue to grow by uh, 22% kagar over fy21 to fy25 we expect earnings per share to grow at 49% kagar over the same period our fair value of the company is based on discounted cash flow methodology valuing the stock at 39 times fy24 consolidated eps moving on i would like to share our sector view on healthcare which currently seems attractive our analysis suggests that prices of routine semi specialized and specialized tests for uh, dr lal pat labs metropolis and srl across seven major cities are two to four times higher than the cheapest organized alternative 
secondly online aggregators are most aggressive on pricing followed by relatively newer offline entrants given the focus on building an integrated health tech business model comprising e diagnostics e pharmacies e consultations and other services we expect competition from top tier well funded online aggregators to remain elevated the diagnostics forays of pharma majors such as mankind and lupin are still at a nascent stage with expansions planned in west and central india and west and east india respectively apollo hospitals astadm and max healthcare are sharply expanding their diagnostics presence in south and no- north india our discussions with most of these new entrants indicate they have well laid out multi year business plans and appear to be in this for a long haul however there can be a downside risk to our uh, flattish long term pricing assumptions for dr lal patlabs and metropolis if the new entrants stay aggressive beyond the next few quarters so we trim our fy 23 24 earnings estimates for dr lal and metropolis by 2 to 3% on marginally lower realizations so we retain sell on dr lal with revised fair value of rupees 2175 and reduce rating on metropolis with revised fair value of rupees 2000 now within healthcare services at current valuations we prefer hospitals over diagnostics apollo hospitals is our top pick in the healthcare services space guys to know more visit the research section of kotak securities website and that's all for today signing off thank you